In this video, I'm going to show you comping doubles and triples in Reaper. Now typically, we would do this for vocals, but in this video, we're going to do it with guitar, as the workflow is the same. We want to double it or triple it for the production. I'm going to start off by recording multiple takes, then I'm going to comp through to find the best take. In a Reaper 7, we could do this with fixed lanes. If you're using an earlier version, this isn't going to work for you. So our project set up here with a guitar track, I'll put it into record, set my input where my guitar is plugged into, and let's record our first pass. Now I'm going to record a few more, and I want to do this with lanes. So I'm going to right click the track, switch it to fixed item lanes. And that's going to create a new lane on every recording pass, like this. Now we have two passes or two lanes that we can switch between by hitting this button to solo each lane for playback. Then I'm going to record a few more, but we're not going to do it in real time. We're going to fast forward very quickly through three more passes. So now we have five passes which we could switch between by hitting the solo button on each lane. Let's take it out of record. Now we want to comp to get the best performance on each phrase. So we can right click over here, go to comping and choose comp into new empty lane, which puts a new lane up here we can comp into. Notice the cursor changes, letting us know comping is turned on. And we can create areas just by drawing in each lane now we're going to hear this lane, or the first pass. And we can jump from each one by clicking in each area or hitting the T key to go lane by lane. But let's do this phrase by phrase to get the performance perfect. And let's say we're choosing the third pass on the first line. And the second pass, the first pass, let's choose the fourth one and the fifth one. Let's just say that's the perfect performance for us. So now that we're done comping, we could right click up here and disable fixed lanes, which is going to hide the non-playing lanes. And we're still going to hear the same thing. We're no longer comping the performance. But now we want to create doubles and triples to make the sound thicker. And we could do that by comping line by line the outtakes we didn't choose. So let's duplicate this track. Right click, duplicate tracks. Now we have two versions of the same thing. But if we play it now, it's just going to be louder. As it's the same performance twice, which is not really doubling or tripling. We want to use outtakes to choose from. In this situation, I want to comp to find the best sounding ones. So I'm going to right click up here on the double, re enable fixed lanes. Now I can see the lanes over here. We could double click to go back to comping. I'm going to pan this track to the left so I can hear it more separately from the keeper comp. I'm going to choose different pieces by clicking in the areas or just hitting the T key. We're making sure not to choose this take, the third pass, as again, it's the same performance as the keeper. I'll hit T and find what sounds best with our main track. 
and just go through it phrase by phrase. Let's say I like this one, we can move on to the next phrase. Again, starting with a different take. And just go through and comp different takes. And we could also do this by only viewing one lane like this and just use the colors to quickly make sure we don't choose the same passes. This is the same one from before. We can use the T key to start at the next pass on each one to make sure we don't use the same one. And if we like it and we want to triple the same part, just duplicate it again. Right click, duplicate tracks. Now we have three. Take our double at a fixed lanes mode and just work on the triple. I'm going to pan it to the right, do the same thing, starting with a different lane. If we're happy with all the doubles and triples we chose, just take it out of fixed lanes mode and we're done. Let's bring the volume down of the double and triple together. And if we want to recomp at any point, just right click. Re enable the fixed lanes and just choose different lanes for each phrase. And put it back. And we're back to no longer comping. And like I said, this is typically used for vocals to create doubles and triples to thicken out certain parts of the song, usually the chorus. But the concept or the workflow is the same, where we can comp the doubles and triples while listening to the keeper take along the way. So that's pretty much it. That's comping doubles and triples in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.